So the goal of the project is to ensure that our Ganyageha immersion teachers are supported with the tools to carry out their role in, in supporting our, our students with uh, their language learning. So we want to make sure that they're confident in their teacher practice as well as uh, continuing opportunities to have um, their own language learning for Ganyageha. I came onto the project uh, last fall and I've been working with Gatteruni and the curriculum team um, to kind of investigate and research ways that we can better support in-service Ganyageha immersion teachers at Gurdjianaha School and that would provide a, a model for other schools and programming in the community and then also external to the community um, and so it's an exciting opportunity. So I get to I bring the team together um, and I'm, I'm going to be um, analyzing and making meaning of the, the data and the information that we get from our teachers. So it's really the teachers get to exercise autonomy in terms of um, in, within the project, in terms of identifying what kind of supports um, and resources they need to do, not only to do their, their job as immersion teachers, but as second language learners as well. This is our way of supporting our in-service Ganyageha immersion teachers professionally so that we can set, um, help them to set some personal, professional, and also language learning goals. And I, I saw it as a way that the KEC and Ganyageha School was really walking their talk in terms of what they put into the language plan, the way we looked at really just um, improving the efficiency of the school programming, supporting the staff, Part of the project also uh, is reflective of what we learned when we saw uh, teacher coaching is a growing trend across primarily the U the, in the U.S. So looking here in, at Gahnawage with the unique needs of the program, we saw that teacher coaching could be really helpful where we have the coaches going in and they're like that on the spot or um, that one-on-one -on -one support for, for our teachers, in practice teachers, if it's uh, support with, you know, trying out new uh, second language pedagogies, if it's uh, on the spot help with uh, language proficiency, or even what's important to the KEC is ensuring that, you know, our students are learning in a way that's, uh, uh, brings out Zinni and Gwari Hoda and who they are. And sometimes, you know, uh, having someone there to talk and bounce those ideas off it, or have someone sharing those ideas is what the coaches are primarily doing there with the teachers. So they've been really helpful in, in that role so far. And I'm really happy about um, some of the feedback we receive. I'm supporting um, teachers and students, students in, in their academics <clears throat> and teachers when it comes to um, strategies and methods maybe for individual uh, education plans. And the whole project uh, is for Ganya Geha. It's for us, by us. So all the research and all the brainstorming and planning and all of those things is, is all uh, within our own community. So it's taking all of those methods and all of those strategies that you see everywhere for French and English and supporting students' uh, success, but taking all of that and how does it work for us in Ganyageha? In the past couple of years, I've been supporting nursery and kindergarten teachers in helping them pilot the uh, forest nursery kindergarten program at Garuhyanunha. And so since then, we've given it a name called Yunkitni Saha Yunkiri Hunyani, which means uh, our mother, the earth, is our teacher. And so um, I support them in a capacity where I help them find strategies to um, implement in helping uh, to teach language to nursery and kindergarten students as well as uh, learning language off the land. Um, so I've been trying to look at um, different strategies to help um, use the outdoors as a teacher for learning language and 
And so in doing that, it means uh, meeting with nursery and kindergarten teachers, uh, providing them with uh, PD, specifically regarding their own uh, proficient language proficiency and supporting them in that. And so there's a lot of discussion and collaboration. Uh, and I find that's probably the most effective um, strategy so far in coaching nursery and kindergarten teachers is um, is collaborating and trying things out and um, really reflecting on how it went. The research goals were really derived from the goals of the Karuhinuhna Tiyundari Wayan Stakwa's strategic goals that were outlined in the Skatine Ayubayota Community Language Plan. So in that plan, it, they talk about how um, supporting teachers to continuously increase their proficiency. So always having places and opportunities to continue growing as a speaker. That was one thing that was important to them. So it's embedded in this uh, our KEC Natonu project as well. Another thing that guided the goals of the project was um, the study that was done on the Garunyanuhna Immersion Program Evaluation that was conducted in 2018 by Tehodak Jeremy Green. And in that, there were several recommendations that talked about how uh, we need to have more support for our teachers in second language pedagogies and strategies. Um, so that's one of the places that helped us to make that one of the goals of this research project. So at the KEC, we have our advisory group that we come together um, every so often to check in on the project. But we also have the Greater Natonu project. So Natonu is a, a partnership. It's nine community partners with the University of Victoria. And we do come together and we, get, we report to each other, we share it with each other. So while we're learning, uh, as our community is learning by our own practice, when we do come together with the greater group, the, the nine partners, we learn from each other as well. So um, all of these communities are really engaged in language revitalization. And in particular for this project, looking at how adult learners are contributing to language revitalization overall. How are they um, continuing to learn? How are they giving back to their communities? So that's what this whole overarching project is looking at across from here all the way to from east to west.